Many artists specialize in a particular medium, but we met a very versatile artist. He doesn't just use canvas or clay, he's even painted an entire town in Oklahoma. Fire and metal. Che Tullis masters the elements to create beauty. Today, it's a hammer. Tomorrow, perhaps a paintbrush. It's a way of life. You know, from the beginning, I saw my first painting when I was two. It was of a horse, and my aunt bought it, and it was five bucks, and then thought, oh, I could do this for a living. Silver jewelry, portraits of ancestors, sculptures of horses. He creates something new every day. Um, you know what? We grew up rather poor, and so my grandfather's favorite words were, if you can't afford new, make do. As you can see, there's a consistent theme, his Native American culture. Che Tullis is Northern Blackfoot and Cherokee. Oklahoma includes 39 tribes. There are several in and around his small town of Hominy, Oklahoma. Population, about 3,000. I paint from moments in my life or from dreams or a feeling, a mood. Inspiration comes from so many different things. But his work is not limited to the walls of his colorful and diverse gallery. He hadn't done murals before, but one day he decides to just grab some buckets of paint and go to work. We had just gone through a major oil bust in uh, 1986, and it was still dragging on. People were not feeling well about this community or themselves. And so I was thinking what I could do to brighten up the town and make everybody a little bit happier, just to bring a little bit of joy to it. In 1990, he paints 40 murals on the sides of buildings. It does bring smiles to the locals, and they're even happier when the murals attract tourists. It's a perfect opportunity for local businesses, including his gallery on Main Street. That was three decades ago. Some of the buildings have come down. The images that survive don't quite look as vibrant, but there's still beauty in the peeling paint. Well, they've aged quite well, just like me. Uh, you know, I painted them in 1990, and however long they last, I never intended to come back and touch them up or make them last forever. It was a moment. It was a moment in time, and if I just brought a smile to somebody, that's all that mattered, really. It hasn't exactly made Hominy a boom town. There's still evidence of hard times. But even after 30 plus years, the murals are still a wonderful distraction from the broken windows and boarded up businesses. Che Tullis says the murals capture the richness of the Native American culture, a culture that seems to attract the imagination of outsiders. In time, more paint will peel, more bricks will fall. Someone along the line later, when I'm riding my horse up in heaven, uh, you know, they'll come along and paint something entirely different, you know? Or they'll paint it white. Who knows? And I'm good with that. Now tourists return to see Che Tullis' most recent work. Silhouettes stand on a hill. Made of iron, they will endure beyond the old murals below them. At 20 feet high, they stand bigger than life, much like the artist who created them. It seems his most influential artwork will be the pieces his customers can't take home. The murals and sculptures lure more and more visitors in hopes of helping this small town survive.